Hello, greetings. Happy Monday. Are you ready for some chair yoga? I am. That's what time it is. So, welcome, welcome. I invite you to um, please remember to listen to and respect your body. Nothing that we do should cause any sharp pain. So if anything during this practice causes a sharp pain, please stop doing it. Um, remember to listen to and respect your body and only move in ways that feel okay in your body. It is perfectly fine to sit and watch at points if you feel like what we're doing is too much. Um, I always try to offer modifications, but um, I can't see you, so I can't see when you're struggling. So please listen to your body and do the things that your body needs to feel okay today. Uh, so the practice today is going to be all about softening the shoulders and the neck. So that's kind of the first part of practice, and then we're going to move and flow. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. So let's take a minute to get centered. So imagine there's a string, almost like a marionette string, reaching up from the crown of your head to lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulders down. And take a minute to just drop the focus, the attention into your body into your mind, into your spirit, bringing yourself to be fully present here in this moment. Allow the mind to focus on the breath without any effort to change it right now. We'll do that in a minute. Just feel the breath in and out through the nose. And then we're going to start by taking three rounds of breath. We're going to inhale through the nose and we're going to audibly sigh out of the mouth. So let's do that together. So let your air out. Take an inhale through the nose. <sighs> Sigh it out. Another two more times. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> And then just resume normal breathing and take a minute to just notice how your neck and your shoulders are feeling right now before we've done any movement, before we've done any exercises. Just notice how your neck and your shoulders, maybe even the heart center, notice how you're feeling there. Most of us carry our tension and our stress in our neck and shoulders. And I'm going to have us check in frequently through this first little part of the practice that's centered on the neck and shoulders. So we can really be aware of the changes or the, sh or the shifts that occur as we move. So just notice the shoulders, the neck, without any judgment, without any expectations. Just notice how you're feeling there. Maybe you blink open the eyes, maybe not. And we're going to take the, this, this may seem weird, but we're going to take the hands to our heart center. And we're just going to brush lightly across the chest. So we're just going to brush away, kind of just below the collarbone. Just do this a few times, just brushing 
the fingers across the collarbone and the chest area. Good, one more time. And then just take the palms up on the thighs, lower the gaze. And check in with yourself again, noticing how that feels in your body. Maybe something's changed, maybe nothing's changed. It's okay, just notice how it feels. Good. And I invite you to bring one hand to the heart center and press the other hand on top of that hand right at the heart center. Just take a minute to set an intention for your practice. So that might be a quality or characteristic that you'd like to invite more of into your life. My reading at the end of class today is going to be about being brave. So maybe you want to think about a time in your life when you've had to be brave. You can't be brave without there first being fear. So we can't have one without the other. And that's okay. Maybe you're being brave today by trying this chair yoga practice. That is brave to try something maybe you have never tried before. Take a few more rounds of breath here. Think about your intention and really arrive into this experience with acceptance, not expectation, but with acceptance. Good, then go ahead and lower the hands. So like I said, neck and shoulders. So the first thing we're gonna do, well, it's not the first thing, but we're going to make some sort of rapid circles with our head. So we're going to take 10 in each direction. So right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Take 10 circles like that on your own. Not really fast, but not really slow either. Eyes can be open or closed. If you get dizzy, keep your eyes open and on a fixed spot. Good, that was 10 for me. I'm gonna take a slight pause and then we're gonna circle the other direction for 10 times. Good, bring the head back to neutral, palms up, notice. So we checked in with the neck and the shoulders at the very beginning of practice. Notice what they feel like now with acceptance, not expectation. All right, we're gonna keep moving with the neck and the shoulders. So now again, with a somewhat quick pace, we're gonna inhale, shrug the shoulders, exhale, release. And we're gonna do that 10 times. So inhale, exhale. Again, palms up, lower the gaze or close your eyes. Notice the shoulders and the neck. How is it feeling for you? Good. Now we're gonna bring the fingertips to the shoulders, the elbows straight out. And we're going to just make some circles backwards. So again, we're moving 
not with lightning speed, but not real slow either. Big circles, little circles, doesn't matter. Just keep, make some circles. So the heart center, the shoulders, the neck, they're all kind of one unit that we're working today in an effort to relax that tension that we tend to build in the neck and shoulders. Keep focused, keep moving. You got this, keep it going. Couple more. And again, palms up on the thighs and notice. Notice how it feels now compared to when you first checked in with the neck and shoulders at the very beginning of class. So some of this first part of class is um, really just trying to shift the energy in our body. So what we're gonna do now is make a light fist, a loose fist with the hands. And we're going to tap or pound lightly from the outer shoulder up into the chest and then back out. And we're going to do that with the breath. So we're going to take a breath in and we're going to ah it out as we pound. So this feels a little funny, but that's okay. No one's watching except you. You're watching me. So, all right. So light fist. Let's take a big breath in. <sighs> so you can't exhale anymore and rest for a minute. <coughs> so this is great for breaking up congestion, right? I just had to cough after doing that. So if you ever have a chest cold, try this one. It helps to break up the congestion. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. So gentle fists, take a big breath in. <sighs> and again, take a minute, palms up. Notice how that feels. How do the neck and the shoulders feel now? <coughs> All right, we're gonna keep going here with the neck and shoulder release. So let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder and let that left arm dangle down by your side and again, we're going to take that gentle fist with the right hand. And again, we're going to make that ah sound. So gentle fist. And from here, we're going to gently pound from that top of the left shoulder up to just uh, below or behind that left ear and then back down. So we're going to kind of go up and down. All right. So that's what we're doing. So take a big breath in, left, right ear to right shoulder. Big breath in. <sighs> Sigh it out. Good. Take a rest, and then we're going to do that again. All right. Right ear to right shoulder. Big breath in. <sighs> Good, rest palms up. Notice the difference between the left side of the neck and the right side of the neck. Hopefully you feel some difference.
Good. Then we'll take it on the other side. So this time the left ear drops to the left shoulder. The right arm dangles. And we do the same thing. So gentle fist with the left fist. Take a big breath in. <sighs> Take a breath. And we'll repeat it again. Left ear to left shoulder. <sighs> Keep exhaling till you can't exhale anymore as you gently pound that right side of the neck. And then release, palms up, notice. How do your shoulders and neck feel now compared to the very beginning of class? Any difference? Remember, we're working from a place of acceptance and not expectation. We're gonna keep going. So now we're gonna bring the arms straight out to the side, palms up, and we're going to just bring the fingertips to the shoulders 10 times. So inhale, exhale. Couple more. And again, relax and notice. And then interlace the fingers kind of in front of your face. We're going to bring the elbows close, but not touching. They're just kind of close. And we're just going to make some circles with the wrists or with the, yeah, circle the wrists. So the knuckles are kind of making a figure eight. Good. Come back to stillness and then you're going to circle the other way. Wait. Yeah. Circle your wrists the other way, the other direction. Good, relax, palms up. Take some slow, deep breaths here. I feel a pretty significant shift in my neck and shoulders as opposed to the start of class. I noticed that um, my neck was stiff, my shoulders felt tight, and now they feel much looser, much more relaxed. I hope you feel the same. <laughs> If not, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll feel badly. <laughs> I'm kidding, I won't. I'm sorry if it doesn't help you feel relaxed, but I would put money on the fact that it does help you feel a little bit softer in the neck and the shoulders. All right, so we're going to start moving a little bit more through the rest of the body. So let's bring that right leg straight out in front and really spread the toes. See if you can... Spread the toes just as wide as you can, and then relax them, and then just point and flex that right foot. Strong flex, strong point. Good, then make some circles with the ankle. Good, circle the other way. Keep circling as you gradually release that right foot back from the, back to where it started. And then extend that left foot, spread those toes just as wide as you can. Spread, spread, spread. And relax the toes and point and flex. Strong point, strong flex. And make some circles with that left ankle. 
It's okay if you have popping. It's actually good. Circle the other way. And gradually, as you circle that ankle, release that left foot down where it started. All right, so now we're going to kind of come forward a little bit more in our chair, and we're going to interlace the fingers around that right knee and hug it into the chest. If that does not work for you, please get a dish rag or a towel or a belt or a strap and help it in, okay? So if the fingers don't interlace, use a prop to help that happen. So we're hugging that right knee any amount in towards the chest. The spine is long. Reach that crown of the head up. Relax the shoulders down. Keep breathing that slow, deep, even breath. Good. Then we help cross that right ankle over the left knee. If that's not in your practice, go ahead and cross the right ankle over the left ankle. So we're getting into that right hip a little bit. Flex that right foot. Again, spine long and straight. Maybe a little gentle pressure down on that right knee if that feels okay. If you're not feeling much sensation here at all, you have the option of bringing that left elbow, hooking that right foot, and lifting the leg up closer to the chest. You should feel more of a stretch there if you're not feeling anything here. I always offer options. That doesn't mean you have to do it. If this feels like you're getting into that right hip, stay here. Slow, deep, even breaths. Allowing the mind to stay present and focused on the breath and in the body. Yoga is a mindfulness practice and mindfulness means being present in the moment. So I'm encouraging you to stay present. Don't check out on me. Good. We're going to bring that right knee back into the chest like we started with. Breathe. And then we're going to interlace the fingers behind the knee. And we're going to extend that right leg straight out in front. And release it all the way down to the floor. And we'll take that series on the other side. So again, we're going to lift that left knee, hug it into the chest. You can always use your towel or a belt. If you need a little help there, there's no harm in that. That's good. Breathe. And then we'll get into the hip opener. So bring or help that left ankle over the right knee or the left ankle over the right ankle. You do what works. If the knee, if the ankle is up on your knee, flex that left foot. Gentle pressure down on that left knee. Remembering again, if you're not feeling much sensation, you hook that right elbow on the left foot and hug it up. Lengthen the spine. Do what works for you. We want sensation, not pain. There's no competition in yoga. Breathe into that left hip. Good. Hug the left knee into the chest again. And then interlace the fingers behind that left knee and extend the left leg any amount towards straight. Foot is strongly flexed. Reach that heel straight out in front. And gently release. All right.
So we're going to take a little twist here. So lengthen your spine, draw the low belly in and up. We're going to take that left, the back of the right hand to the outside of that left knee. We're going to reach back, either holding onto the back of the chair or maybe the arm just kind of hooks over the back of the chair. Gaze back over that left shoulder if it feels okay in your neck. Otherwise, leave it straight ahead or to the side. And imagine breathing down into the belly on your inhale. Instead of breathing up, imagine you're breathing down into the belly. Slow, deep, even breaths. Breathing down into the belly, not up. Allow the breath to emphasize the stretch, the twist. Good, take a big breath in. And on an exhale, slowly release out of that twist and we'll take it on the other side. So the back of the left hand comes to the outside of that right knee. The right arm reaches back behind the chair or grabs the chair. Lengthen the spine, draw the belly in, and again, breathe down into the belly. No chest breathing, not breathing up, we're breathing down. A few rounds of that slow, deep belly breath. Good, take another big breath in. And on an exhale, release back to center. And let's take some shoulder rolls. So we're kind of getting back to the shoulders and to the neck. So big rolls with the shoulders. Relax the muscles of the face. Relax the jaw. And circle the other way. So if you were going backwards before, go forward now. And settle back to stillness. From here, we're going to drop the chin to the chest and take some slow, deep belly breaths here. The spine is long and straight. The chin to the chest. <sighs> Maybe you continue to sigh it out. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> Gently lift the chin upright. Drop that right ear to the right shoulder. A couple big breaths here. Head back up to neutral. Relax the shoulders. Left ear to left shoulder, two big deep breaths. And gently bring the head back up to neutral and we're gonna take a seated warrior two. So we're gonna bring both knees over to the right of our chair and the left butt cheek hangs off the chair just a little bit so first option is to bring that left knee forward 
stay here if this feels good in your body. Other option is to gently walk that left leg back so that that left foot is at a 90 degree angle. Can't quite see it on my screen, I don't think. So uh, options are to stay holding on to that chair. Another option is to bring one or both arms up by the shoulders and gaze out over those right fingertips or the hands stay down on the chair and you gaze out to the right. You do what works. Hang out here and breathe. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Feel the stretch in that left groin, root down through the outer edge of that left foot if it's extended straight. Remember, we talked earlier about being brave. Nothing like a good warrior pose to make you feel your inner strength, to feel strong, to feel brave. Focus on your slow, even breaths. If the arms are extended, go ahead and release them. Maybe you kind of help that left leg back forward. And then we're going to swing the legs all the way around to the other side to set up for warrior two on the left. So now that right butt cheek hangs off a little bit. Left foot is flat on the floor. Remember your options. That right knee can come forward. And you extend the arms here like this. It's a beautiful warrior two. Stay here if that feels best for you. If you want to take it further, extend that right leg back out. That right foot is at a 90 degree angle. The left hamstring is fully supported by your chair. And we inhale the arms up. Shoulders are squared towards me. Gaze out over those left fingertips. Keep the shoulders over the hips so we don't want to be leaning forward or backwards. Shoulders stay over the hips. Focus on your breath. Focus on your bravery. Maybe you even make a muscle here. Woo! Feel your strength. Nice. Good, release the hands. Maybe that right hand helps bend that right leg. We're gonna come back to center and we're gonna bring the knees to a wide angle. And we're just gonna flow a little bit with the arms here. So we're gonna start in a prayer position. We're gonna inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale as we lower them. Back to prayer, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Flow with your breath. Continuing to try to soften those shoulders the heart center. One more, inhale it up, exhale, release. And then we're gonna come to a side bend flow here. So let's start by bringing the right forearm to the right knee, and that left arm is gonna come up by the left ear and then we're going to inhale, come back through center, exhale, side bend on the other side. Inhale through center, exhale, side bend to the right. Find your flow at your pace. It's one of the nice things about doing class online is we 
don't have to keep up with the other or feel like we have to keep up with the teacher or the other people in class although hopefully nobody in my class ever feels like they have to keep up this is your practice you do what feels right in your body slow flow One more to each side, to the right, to the left, and come on back through center. Let's bring the palms up again, relax the shoulders, lengthen the spine, and just notice, check in with the body one more time. How you feeling? All right, let's keep flowing. So I'm going to heel toe the feet in one click. So my knees are a little bit closer, but still rather wide. And we're just going to flow the arms again, but we're going to add a little forward fold to it. So we're going to inhale the arms up by the ears. And on an exhale, we're going to be like Superman. Bring the arms back and the, and the torso forward. Inhale it up. Exhale, Superman. Flow at your pace, but be sure to connect the movement with your breath. So inhale as you rise, exhale as you lower. Keep that low belly drawn in and strong to protect that low back. Let's take one more. Inhale it up. Exhale, Superman or Superwoman. Inhale it back up and release the arms down. Now we're going to heel toe the legs back parallel. So the feet are, you know, hip width distance apart. We're going to take a forward fold here. So imagine that there's a little beach ball over your on your lap and we're just going to kind of round the back to come forward into a forward fold that works for you perhaps it's elbows on the knees and the head hangs heavy here that's a perfectly fine beautiful forward fold if you want to take it further, you can let the hands travel down the shins and the torso rests on the thighs. Maybe you have a block or something in front of you. If you need to bring the earth up closer to your hands, but let the head hang very heavy. Maybe nod the head yes or shake the head no to relax the neck. Whew. Letting those fears, apprehensions flow out through the top of the head and be replaced with that bravery we spoke of earlier. Feel the breath on your thighs. These inversions are great for helping us to refocus our mind kind of helps to reset the brain. Good, if the torso is draped, let's bring ourselves up to forearms. We're gonna move nice and slow here so we don't end up dizzy. 
Good. Then nice and slow, bring that torso back upright. Relax the shoulders down. Notice how you feel. Take a minute, palms up. How do you feel after that inversion? And we'll keep moving. So let's take some cat cow. So the hands are down on the thighs. On an inhale, we're going to arch the back. Draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. Chin lifts, belly sticks out, chest sticks out. And on an exhale, we reverse that. Scoop out the belly, widen those shoulder blades. Spine reaches towards the back of the chair. The chin drops to the chest. And then we flow with our breath. So inhale for cow, exhale for cat. Flow with your breath at your pace. <coughs> Good, one more. back to center. All right, so we're going to stand. This is the standing portion of the program. So we're going to, I don't know who is blowing me up here, but let me turn them off. I apologize. I should have had my phone on silence all along. All right, so we're going to just move a little bit with our chair. So we're facing the seat of our chair and we're going to inhale the arms up by the ears. And with the flat back, we're going to come to the hands on the chair and take a forward fold here. So maybe it's like this, maybe it's like this. It doesn't matter, but take your forward fold. And then on an inhale, we're going to halfway lift. And on an exhale, we're going to step back for a downward facing dog with our chair. So that's lots and lots of length in the spine. Maybe the knees stay bent here, that's perfect. Maybe the net legs move towards straight. I want your focus to be on the length in the spine, not so much the straight legs, that's secondary. Good, then we're gonna flow a little bit here. We're gonna come up and come forward into a plank. So either stay here or maybe the hips lower and we're kind of in an up dog position. Either way, come on back to down dog. Take an exhale. Inhale, come back to plank or up dog with the hips lowered. Exhale, back to down dog. One more time. Inhale forward to plank or up dog, exhale back to down dog and take three slow deep breaths here in down dog. Good, we're gonna come on up kind of halfway. We're gonna step that right foot under the seat of our chair and we're gonna come up to a crescent lunge so that left toes are tucked under, right toes are pointed straight ahead. Stay right here if the stability of the chair under your hands feels better for you, or you can walk the hands to that right knee. Maybe try to lift the torso up a little bit. Maybe you bring one arm up, other arm up, Maybe both arms come up by the ears for crescent lunge. Breathe. On your next exhale, bring the hands back down to the seat of the chair. Draw that right foot all the way back to your downward facing dog. And then we'll take crescent lunge on the left. So again, we come up kind of halfway, 
Step that left foot under your chair, right toes are tucked under. Stay right here. Maybe the hands walk to that left knee, maybe not. Accept where your body is today. Maybe the arms come up, maybe not. Wherever you are, try to relax. Think of your bravery. On your next exhale, release the hands back to the seat of the chair. Draw that left foot all the way back. Or downward facing dog again. And then we're gonna take triangle. So again, we're gonna come up to that halfway lift. We're gonna step the right foot forward under the chair. We're gonna flatten that left foot, maybe at a little bit of a 45 degree angle. And then we're gonna straighten that right leg, plant the right hand to the center of the chair, and we're gonna open the body out to the left. Option to leave that right left hand on your hip or maybe that left arm goes straight up to the sky, palm facing forward, rooting down through the outer edge of that left foot for our modified triangle pose. Don't sink down into that right shoulder, push away from that chair and breathe. Gaze can be down at that right hand, straight ahead or up at that left hand. You do what feels best in your neck. Good, exhale, release the left hand back down. Pivot on those left toes, draw it all the way back to your downward facing dog again. And we'll take our triangle pose on the other side. So coming up to halfway lift, step that left foot under the chair, flatten that right foot at a 45 degree angle. Gently straighten that left leg, plant the left hand to the center of the seat of your chair, and then open the torso up to the right. Right hand can stay on the right hip or that right arm reaches up to the sky. Gaze down at the left hand, straight ahead or up at that right hand, whatever works. Root down through the outer edge of the right foot. Push down through that left hand. So you're reaching the arms in both directions. Take a breath in and on your exhale, right hand comes back to the chair. One last downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. And come on up to stand and we'll come back to a seat. Take a seat. Good. All right, so we're gonna take boat pose in our chair. Uh, we'll take two rounds of boat pose. So I'm gonna bring both of my knees to the left and I'm gonna hold on to the chair, however you feel comfortable. We're gonna draw the low belly in and we're gonna lift both knees up off the earth any amount. Keep that spine long and straight, belly drawn in, big core workout here. Stay just like this. You can play with straightening one leg, two legs, both legs, 
or just stay with the knees bent. Breathe that slow, deep breath. When things get hard, we do more of what's right, and that's controlled breathing. And relax. Come on back through center. Let's take a forward fold, and then we'll do it again to the other side. So inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forearms to the knees or torso over the thighs. Take your forward fold, whatever that looks like for you. Nice and slow. Bring the forearms back up to the knees. And slowly bring the torso back upright and we'll take boat pose. So now we're gonna take both knees to the right. You can stay, stay forward if that feels better. I'm just coming to the side so you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. So hold on however feels good to you to keep you stable in your chair. Draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, lift those knees up and breathe. Remembering if you want to take it further, straighten, straighten, or both. You do what works. Be brave. Good. Go ahead and relax. If you're to the, to the side, bring the legs forward. And we're going to take a bound angle. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. I don't know if you can see. Soles of the feet together, rested on the floor. And let the knees fall open. Either seated upright. I mean, if you want to, you can bring the feet like this on your chair. Or if you have another chair, I have a couch here. So you could take another chair or the couch, bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop open. So just take a minute here before we settle into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Again, checking in with your body, noticing how the body feels now, especially those neck and shoulder and heart center areas that we focused on today. Notice the difference in how things feel in your body now as compared to the very beginning of class with acceptance, not expectation. So you have the option of staying right here for Shavasana if this feels comfortable for you, or you can come to an easy seated position. You can lie down on your back on the floor, or if you're at your desk, you can make a pillow for your head with your arms and rest but go ahead and make any final wiggles, movements, or adjustments before you settle into stillness of Shavasana. Lower your gaze or close your eyes, allowing the body to feel fully supported by your chair or by the floor. Take a minute to scan your body all the way from the top of your head down to your feet, noticing if you're holding any tension anywhere. 
And if you are, direct your breath to those spots and work to soften those areas. And as promised, I have a short reading about bravery. I think it's brave that you get up in the morning, even if your soul is weary and your bones ache for rest. I think it's brave that you keep on living even if you don't know how to anymore. I think it's brave that you push away the waves rolling in every day and you decide to fight yet again. I know there are days when you feel like giving up, but I think it's brave that you never do. So we'll have a couple minutes in silence as you ponder on your bravery and stay focused on the softness, the heaviness, the peacefulness of this final pose, this more, most important pose in yoga. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring some small movements to your fingers and to your toes. And as you're ready, extend the arms up by the ears, extend the legs out in front, give yourself a big stretch in both directions like you're just waking up. Reach, reach, reach. And let it all relax back down. If you're on the floor, go ahead and roll off to either side and bring yourself up to an easy seated position. And once there, we'll all press our palms together in front of our heart center as our symbol of closing this practice, this sacred time that you carved out for yourself today to be brave. Thank yourself for showing up on your chair today. Maybe you tried something new for the first time today. You are brave. We express deep gratitude to these bodies of ours for moving as perfectly as they did. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace, because it's also within me. And in sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste. You did great. Thanks for doing some chair yoga with me. We'll see you next week. Have a good week. Stay brave.